I'm Joe Papa, technical editor for DroneLife.io and host of the Drone Life podcast. As a pro builder and pilot, I refuse to cut corners when it comes to the safety, reliability, or the performance of a rig. So aside from specs and costs, how are all these motors really different? To find out the truth, I decided to tear down some of the best motors from DJI, T-Motor, and KDE Direct. Stay right here with me as we reveal the dirty secrets behind motor designs and pick the undisputed winner of the 2017 Drone Life Best Propulsion System. Welcome back. This is the final segment in our motor shootout, and I really wanted to save the best for last. There's more performance and reliability secrets tucked away into the motor stator than probably any other component we've looked at. What we want to see here is a stator that's made of very thin, high silicon steel laminations, preferably 0.2 millimeter Japanese laminations. And then we're going to look at the windings and what we want to see here is a hand wound motor with very high quality copper. It has a very high temperature rating. After we look at how the windings are wrapped around the stator, we want to look at how that stator is locked in place. A stator that can rotate or break free from its hold would spell disaster for the motor. You want to make sure that's not going anywhere. Lastly, we'll look at how the windings are terminated as they're soldered to the wires that run out to the speed control. We want to make sure that not only are they protected, but they can't move around because any stiff wire that can move will eventually break. Let's go take a look. The U7 does have 0.2 millimeter thick high silicon steel laminations. As we look at the center hub area, a hole is drilled to accept an anti-torque pin, which prevents rotation of the stator if the epoxy were to fail. As you can see here, there's no pin installed. The machine wound copper windings are upgraded in the U Power Series and are rated for 180 degrees C. However, they're loose and nothing is done to protect the windings from vibration. Where the wires are soldered to the silicone leads, only shrink wrap protects them, and there isn't anything confidence inspiring here either. On a remote control airplane, this compromise in reliability would be acceptable. Carrying a $100,000 camera on a movie set? No way. The U10 also gets the benefit of 0.2 millimeter high silicon steel laminations, but like the U7, the U10 makes no claims of being hand wound. The stator is held on with epoxy only and no anti-torque pin is inserted in the hole. The U10 is part of the efficiency series and doesn't get the benefit of at least moderately high temperature insulation like the U7 does. The windings are more tightly wrapped though, however the space between the segments are inconsistent in copper fill and where the wires transition out of the motor is perhaps the most alarming aspect of the windings. Look at how much they move. Compare the power leads from the U10 to its closest competitor, the KDE Direct 7215. I don't think I need to say anything else. Recently, some of the manufacturers are touting these motors that have these very, very neat windings made of a thick single strand of wire. Let's use the U10 as an example from T-Motor. A favorite among pro builders in the aerial cinema world, this motor redefined what was possible because it's so efficient. It provides a lot of thrust while consuming very little power. So how did T-Motor do it? Obviously, they could have wound it with a single strain of wire. If that was the most efficient design, you can be sure that it would be in here, but it's not. The single thick wire theory can be clearly seen in the DJI 6010. The windings are loaded with wavy sections and air gaps, which further reduces efficiency. Copper fill on this motor could be improved in many ways here. No information was available regarding the stator laminations, and this motor has nothing other than low temp epoxy holding it together. Some windings are loose, Others are not packed tightly together. The wires exiting the motor are shrink wrapped and bonded to prevent breakage, which is a leap over what T-Motor brought to the table. On both KDE Direct motors, we know from the specs that the laminations are in fact 0.2 millimeter Japanese high silicon steel. The 5215 stator is press fit, epoxied, and the anti-torque pin is installed. 
The 7215 benefits from a keyed press fit that's also backed with epoxy and finished off with a huge snap ring. The copper windings are insulated with polyamide rated for 240 degrees C, the highest temperature windings of all the motors that we reviewed. They're hand wrapped and copper fill is consistent and even. The windings are also protected and blocked from being able to exit the stacks with Kevlar thread, then epoxy dipped and the excess is vacuum pulled leaving behind just enough to lock all the windings in place permanently. Finally, the wires are soldered to thick 13 gauge silicone leads and protected with a rubber plug and industrial sleeves. So let's get to the results of all of this. The DJI 6010 is a well-engineered compact heavy lift motor. It features high quality NMB bearings, curved magnets, a very nice integrated machine fan, and the windings are well protected where they exit the motor. Unfortunately, its maximum operating temperature is only 122 degrees Fahrenheit, and the bearings in this motor are not replaceable. Because of that, this motor has the highest cost of ownership over its lifespan and earns a solid third place in this review. T-Motor continues to be one of the most well-respected manufacturers in the industry. They have a huge following and nearly endless options available. It doesn't matter if you're looking for something very inexpensive or very high-end, you're going to be able to find it with T-Motor. However, when we look at the best motors that they currently have available, there were some limitations that we encountered. For example, the U7 has better temperature ratings on the windings than we see in the U10, whereas the U10 has better bearings than what we see in the U7. So there isn't enough consistency and none of the motors really have every single feature they could in order to be called the best. Because of this, T-Motor earns second place in this review. Choosing our top place winner is so much more than just picking the best motor. When people's lives and your reputation are on the line, just piloting one of these commercial aerial rigs can be nerve wracking. Minimizing risk is a fundamental key to ensuring your long-term success in this industry. And it's also gonna go a long way in minimizing the amount of stress that you have while you're on a job. Confidence and peace of mind in your gear that it's going to perform each and every time you go to use it is priceless and the best crashes are always the ones that you were able to avoid. Taking first place in every category and having the overall lowest cost of ownership, no other motor manufacturer even came close to matching its maximum temperature ratings, bulletproof reliability, or overall life expectancy. Our unanimous decision for the Drone Life 2017 Best Propulsion System is KDE Direct. I'd like to personally thank you for taking the time to tune into this video. I hope that it was very helpful. To be the first to know when new videos are posted, be sure to click subscribe. For even more exciting content, be sure to check out DroneLife.io, empowering you with technical advice and unbiased reviews on everything drone related.